I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, also known as MCR. If you don't know about this version yet, there's a link below the video to the rules, as well as a player reference with all the scoring elements in it. I'm going to practice because I've recently joined a group who play by this rule set. I have a lot to learn, and this is a great way to do it. If you have a set at home, give it a try yourself. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We'll do four random pulls, starting with the East round. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. For the first one, we're going to be in East seat. East seat, East round. We have a flower. That's one point right there. Okay, we need to come up with eight points. Eight point minimum for MCR. We do have seven, eight, eight, nine. What about upper tiles? Seven, eight, nine. We're East Seat, maybe Pone of Dragons. I think I would hold the Red Dragon. I think I would hold the One Bams and maybe play All Pung. Let's see how many points is All Pung. All Pung is six, six points. So we would need to come up with four more points. We have one here. So that'd be seven, seven points. We'd need another point in here, maybe Pone of Dragons. But I think I would try for upper, upper tiles. Upper tiles, four pungs or chows in a pair using sevens, eights, and nines. That's 24 points. Now, let's see here. Four pungs or chows in a pair using tiles six through nine. Upper four, I think maybe I would hold the six too. Upper four, pungs or chows, using six through nine. That's 12 points. Get rid of these first. Either upper tiles or upper four. Or... We're missing the crack suit for mixed triple chow. So I don't think at this point I would consider that. But I think we're between all pung, dragon pone, upper four, and upper tiles. I think those are the ones I would consider for these tiles here. If you would do something differently, let me know. Write random pull one and what you would do differently. So now we're going to south round. This time let's say we're in the north seat. We have one flower. Hmm. Okay, so we're in north seat, south round. We have a north, a white, and mixed suits. We have one, two pair. Yeah, that's not good. Let's see. Now, I wonder. Cracks. Seven, eight, nine, nine. Three, seven, nine, six. Because of the cracks, I think what I might try, 
we have only one pair. This is not a pair. That's a chi. That's a potential chi or a chi right there. Chi, chi. These are isolated pair, isolated singles. Let's see here. What would I do here? Two, three, four, three, seven, eight, nine, nine, seven. Mix triple chow, dragon pone. I'm thinking maybe mix triple chow with seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four blocks. We still need a pair. I think I would get rid of these. Let's look and see what the score is for mix triple chow. Mixed triple chow is eight points, so that would qualify. We already have a chi or chow here, chow here. We need a seven, eight bam, and then an eight and nine dot. There's not a lot of flexibility there. I think that's what I would try for though here. Either that or defense. If you would do something differently, write random pull two and what you would do here. So now we're on west round. And this time, let's say we're in seat seven, which is west. Or really, I rolled a seven, so we're in west seat. West round, west seat. Flower. Okay, so we have one point back there. We have one, two, three pair. All Pung, I believe, is six points. All Pung is six points, so we need two more points. We have one here. Maybe pair up our seat wind because we are in west seat and it is the wind of the round. I don't know if I'd want to count on that though. All pung. What, if, is there a triple pung? Triple pung. Three pungs of the same number in each suit is 15, 16 points. If we can get that one crack, that would be really good. But that, that would be a long shot, I think. So I think I would try for all pung, flowers, seat wind, maybe. I think that's what I would try here. If you would do something differently, let me know. I was thinking about the knitted straight. Let me see, wait, not knitted straight. One four seven two five eight three six nine. Yeah, no. Knitted straight, since I brought it up, a knitted straight is twelve points. One four seven. Here's a four seven, a one four seven. One four seven. Then the next one would be two five eight. Here's a five and an eight. And then the last one would be three six nine. Wow, maybe we could do that. Three six nine, two five eight, one four seven. Knitted straight. Hold these. Get rid of these first. Hold these for pungs in case pungs came in. But there's a chance here for that knitted straight. 147, 258, 369. 
Let me know what you think about that. Knitted straight, 147 in one suit, 258 in a second suit, 369 in a third suit. 12 points. One, two, three blocks. We could pung this. That would be four. One, two, three, four. All we'd need is a pair. Let's see here, pung of terminals. Isn't there pung of terminals, I believe? Pung of terminals is a font, is a point also. If we pung here, pung knitted straight. I think that's what I would try for here. It looks like a mess, but it's actually a scoring element. Let me know what you think about that one. Random pull three, knitted straight. Okay, we're on the last one. This time, let's say we're in seat three. One, two, three, four pair. Okay. All pung is six points. We would need flowers or pair up the dragon and pwn the dragon. Pung of terminals is one each. Six, seven, eight. We got the eight right there. All pung. Two pungs of terminals. That would be eight points. I would play all pung here. If you would do something differently on this one, let me know. But I think that's what I would do. Well, I enjoyed these random pulls. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell. That way, you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong Competition Rules. May all your picks be keepers.